Today we head to Daresbury SciTech Industrial um, Complex near Warrington for a coding experience. They had a lovely little craft table set up for any of the younger ones who got disinterested. They also had a refreshment table out and this was all free and just included in the day for the parents. And if you look, they even had free from options as well, which is always a winner. Look at that, I was well chuffed free from mince pies. Can't go wrong with the free from mince pie. Everyone needs that. And the mugs as well, they were brilliant too. So this is the lady showing us how the endoscopy cameras work because they invented them. I think she said it was about 20 years ago or so, I think she said that they invented them. And she's showing pigment colours in people's oh, hair. Built, designed, that is on the James Webb Telescope. Has anybody seen images from the James Webb Telescope? That camera works with infrared where it sees heat and it can see through smoke clouds. How many miles away, Wendy? 500? A million miles away, can be controlled remotely and it can see through dust clouds. And as it sees heat, it can see stars that no longer exist. That, that, that messes with my head. So by the time we see the light, the star could have died and we can see where it used to be because of the technology we develop and design and invent here. So as Wendy said, we've, we've made stuff for particle accelerators, which break down the tiniest particles in the world so, so we can see how they react. After a brief intro, it was time for a fun game where the children were in charge of giving her code and instructions to follow out as a human being. Well, robot. <laughs> Move forward one step. Move forward one step. How big is the star? Yeah. 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 Y
So they're having a play with this here. And they're changing all the lights themselves. But just look how interesting Nimue is there. She is so focused on that. It is unbelievable. I was really impressed at how long it retained her attention for. I think it was in like the last 10 minutes of the session where she went off to go and play and do the other little craft table. So the whole day was about two hours long in total, which was perfect for my lot. It wasn't too long, wasn't too short. Long enough for them to soak in that information and retain it, but not too long where they started to get too disinterested, shall we say. <laughs> Afterwards, we went home and I cooked the British staple meal of spag ball because I was absolutely knackered and it's Yule Eve and I've got tons to do. <laughs> 